My name is Jinyue Zhang, and uh, right now I'm an associate professor in the, uh, in the Department of Construction Management at Tianjin University. And I'm here right now as a, as a visitor, as a special lecturer in the Department of uh, Civil Engineering uh, to teach a summer course. And two years ago, we proposed a graduate level course to the department to study building information modeling. And that course was approved and starting last year, I began to teach this new course, Civil 1299, Special Study in Building Information Modeling. This is a condensed summer course, which just take uh, four weeks. BIM, uh, BIM is, uh, uh, stands for Building Information Modeling. This is a new technology to, uh, to, uh, to do the design and the construction in our industry. And it's, just not, it's not, uh, just a new approach to work. This is a fundamental change to our industry. And we use this type of new technology to reform our industry in terms of uh, their workflow, their uh, work relationship, also some uh, contract agreements. And this basically, what's the BIM? BIM is, we are using a digital model to virtually create a building model in the cyberspace before the facility actually built in reality. And we model every component with all the information, with as, many infor uh, as much information as possible to attach to that model. And in that way, we can, we can enable the analysis during the design and we can to uh, arrange a better building process and we have better uh, delivery approach for the building project. I'm showing you uh, this model. This is the model uh, we created in the, in the BIM course, the Civil 1299 Special Studies for Building Information Modeling. And we use this model to uh, demonstrate the 4D simulation of uh, small house construction. We can uh, demonstrate the construction sequence using the 4D simulation. And here I just uh, briefly uh, to, uh, to create, to demonstrate the the 4D simulation. And first we build the foundation slab, then foundation walls, then this is the first floor, then the exterior walls of the first floor, the interior walls, and then the, the floor for the second floor, and here is the exterior walls. And the interior walls for the second floor, and the windows and doors and later we uh, build the, the stairs and the roof. That's it. Basically uh, that's the 4D simulation, a very simple uh, model to show you the concept. Uh, so far building information modeling is increasingly becoming a uh, important topic in our industry. And a lot of universities, not only universities, college and training schools, they are focusing on the, on the BIM technology. But they, are, they have different emphases. And here at the University of Toronto, because this is a graduate level course, we not only, we actually, we don't teach too much uh, hands-on experience, hands-on skills on using the software. We are more focusing on the theory behind the software and the strategies to be implemented in the industry to guide the implementation in industry. And also I know that a lot of uh, colleges, they are focusing on, the, on, the, on the, uh, how you use the software to be, uh, more, productive, to be more productive in the, in the actual work and also there are some training schools they are focusing on the use of software but here at the University of Toronto we have different focuses a lot of industry people they are not only want to they, they, they not only want to know how to use the software to uh, to be more productive and to uh, to be uh, to achieve better performance in their work they also want to know something behind that they also know how as the owner or as the the, the principal, the higher management level of a consulting firm, how they can implement this BIM technology and what's the rationale behind that. 
that's the key concern. So this, uh, in this way, the building information modeling technology will largely reform our industry and it will cause a paradigm shift. So uh, that's uh, basically uh, why we offer this building information modeling course as a one dedicated graduate level course.